Hi guys and kaboom! Yes, welcome to the channel and welcome to the easy and hard loot base challenge. That's right, on the left hand side there's free loot for you. No defences, no traps, no nothing. On the right hand side though, the big prize, which is heavily defended. Wait a second, that dark elixir storage is empty. We need to fill that up guys for the contestants. There we go, there we go. Now we're ready. No, actually, uh, looking at these elixir and gold collectors over here, they're a bit empty, so let's boost them as well. Uh, there we go, guys. So we're almost ready for our first contestant. And we do have some very fun replays for you today, guys. Just one more thing, though. Our trophy range, 3,059. That's a bit high. I want to drop the trophies down a bit. I want to make this loot base accessible to lower level trophy players. Yes, guys. So we're going to drop some trophies here. Don't worry. I'm not going to ask you to wait around a quarter of an hour as I drop down to 900 trophy range. Guys, if you've never been down to 900 trophy range before, it's a strange place. There's still players there. Loads of players. Loads of loot. It's just I've never been this low before. Uh, trophy range, yeah. So here we go. We're at 900. We're ready. Where are we? Silver League 3. The trap is set, guys. Lots of loot. The base is ready. Clan Castle troops are ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. So we've got some fun replays. Let's jump into the first replay now then. So through the clouds we go. And guys, here's our first contestant. What do we got? Eight peckers. Are they going to go for the easy loot? Or no, they're going for the hard loot straight away. They're going for that big prize. Now, can these eight peckers bring home all that loot? And guys, the loot, the storages were just earthquaked by our attacker. That is, I did say in the small print, no earthquaking of the loot, please. Uh, so they have broken a rule there. We let it go this once because the peckers have just vanished. There's just one left on the left. Uh, and uh, that's Patricia the pecker. She's gone. And the loot is safe, guys. What about these two barbarians? What are they going to do? Uh, they're going to go... Yeah, they, they're on the battlefield somewhere. There they are, guys. But Eddie the Eagle Artillery has targeted them. They're out of luck. Goodbye. 684 gold gained. That was it. The base did really well. What do we got now? We've got barbarians. We've got archers. We've got a, a wall wrecker. We've got heroes. Yes, guys, our attacker means business. I was going to say, are they going to be content with just the easy loot? No. Again, they've gone for the difficult loot prize on the right hand side as well. They're going for everything. They want to take all the loot from this base today. Are we going to let it happen? Of course not. We've got the Queen over there. Her ability just been used. Three-finger deployment of Barbarians. That's interesting, guys. I do like it. Grand Warden on air mode to try and confuse my defences, but no. The Infernos are working hard. Uh, they're Infernoing everything. Oh, guys, what is this? It's the Wall Wrecker. The loot is in danger. If that Wall Wrecker makes it into the base, concentrate all firepower on that, all, on that Wall Wrecker now, guys. And it's even been raged up. The Wall Wrecker has been raged up to try and make it move faster, but no. And it's been destroyed. Just short of getting into that uh, nice loot environment there. And out came some low-level dragons. They're gone, guys. The Air Sweeper said, move along, please. And I can't believe what I'm seeing now. There's some skeleton spells being dropped to try and get that loot. My Queen, the Expos, and the Inferno Tower say, no, 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 no. Please do not touch the loot. Over there on the left. Yeah, not bad. 50,000 gold, 80,000 elixir. So on to our next replay. And uh, our attacker here means business. That's Eric the Inf no, Eric the uh, E-Dragon. I was going to say Inferno Dragon. No, Eric the E-Dragon on the left, guys. So basically, you could attack the base now with just one E-Dragon now. You could take all of the free loot on the left. And then you could probably go on to another attack and you think, yeah, I've got a few hundred thousand in my pocket now. I'm happy with that. But is our attacker going to go for the big loot? We've seen so far nobody has been able to resist going for the big loot on the right hand side. Will this attacker be any different? So they've got the free loot over there. Just one Electro Dragon used. You know, that's, that's a pretty good day's work. Oh, no. There's some action going on on the right-hand side. Yes, they're going for the loot on the right, guys. We've even got a Stone Slammer. The Grand Warden's just taking an air mine to the neck. Uh, he's still okay, though. Barely. He's got about one health left. Stone Slammer's been blown around there. And there was nothing. Uh, guys, just dust inside that Stone Slammer. Nothing at all. No troops. And the Inferno Towers are having a good time. And that air sweeper there, Andy the air sweeper, is saying it's okay. We've got this. The loot is happy. I'm happy. There's air mines everywhere. Those electro drones. They've had enough. They're going off, guys. They're saying, no, we don't want to go on the hard side. We're going to the easy loot. Uh, we want to destroy some army camps. Thank you very much. And they're just moving over there. But they're being eagle artillery 
So guys, as you can see, it doesn't look like everybody's going for the big loot. Nobody wants the easy loot. Well, they do, but they want the big loot more. Uh, and the dragons are coming back for another attack, but it's got to be game over. Rage spell there. Uh, but no, one, one storage was taken out. I, th I think that was Edward, the elixir storage. Goodbye, Edward. And what do we got here? We got barbarians, we got archers, we got giants. And guys, I've not seen this sort of deployment before. It's unconventional. There's troops everywhere. That must have been like a 59 finger uh, troop deployment on the screen. And uh, the clan castle troops are out. We've modified the clan castle troops. We had Larry the Lava Hound earlier. I didn't feel that Larry was very effective as a, lava, as a clan castle troop. So unfortunately, I had to let Larry go. Uh, and I've brought in Gary the ice golem and some witches and they seem to be doing a better job and they're saying listen guys listen you can stay on the left hand side you can have the free loot don't try coming over to the big prize section uh only level 90 heroes allowed over here and they're doing a great job just keeping them over that side a few of them are trying to break through in the center there but they've been uh cannoned infernoed and wizard id towered uh, i that was a, a strange word i just made up there and the witches are going over there they say no and those poor barbar barbarians, they're trying to make it through illegally on the side of the map. Uh, that's breaking the rules and uh, it's game over for them. Nine seconds left. Don't know who's left. Just some jump spells. There is a log launcher. Is the log launcher going to be launched? No. No. Not a bad day, though, uh, loot-wise there. Nearly 400,000 golden elixir. And I know what you're thinking, guys. You're thinking, does anybody take home all the loot? Well, yes. Yes, guys, maybe they do. And this replay... It's a controversial replay. I specifically stated no sneaky goblins are allowed. But as you can see by the troops available bar, there's 69 sneaky goblins ready and waiting. So the free loot's been taken. Yeah, maybe go on to the next base. You don't have to embarrass the base now, but no. We've got a professional attacker here, professional looter. They know what they're doing. They're going for the big prize and fair play to them. Uh, the town hall's slowly getting taken out by those sneaky goblins. And guys, if you do want to download this base, by the way, I put a link in the video description. And remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell and join the Samus army. And guys, we know what's going to happen now. The jump spell is going to be placed. Our loot is in danger. There they go, streaming into that central compartment. All that loot. Look at the loot gained on the right-hand side. Larry the Lava Hound can't do anything, guys. I'm a bit upset, if I'm honest. I don't like seeing this. Another jump spell, just to make sure. And here they come. There's nothing stopping these sneaky goblins. All our precious loot. The prize has almost been taken. Now, we do have one elixir storage and one gold storage left. So there we go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Something a bit different. Let me know what you think in the video comments. Plenty more videos like this coming your way. So Moose signing out. And guys, remember, protect your loot. Goodbye.